This business of news, despite what some critics say, we're always searching for those stories of the good people do. And this week we have such a story. It concerns a Shelby couple who went above and beyond to help the less fortunate. Paul Schmidt has details. People come near and far to come see a sporting event. That's not a big deal. That's not a story. But for a certain Shelby Township couple and a group traveling all the way from Toronto, it is a big deal. It all started here in 2002 when Michael and Deborah Ward met a group of developmentally disabled sports fans from Toronto who were sitting nearby. The very friendly Canadians struck up a conversation with the Wards and an instant relationship began. I think a lot of people are really missing out on the fact that this is much bigger in a way than what most people really realize. You know, yeah, we're, it's a, a, a group, special needs group, and here's someone else that's willing to help. We're in two different cities in two different states or provinces, in two different countries, two different cultures in many, many ways, because I mean, you go to Toronto, it's clearly a different kind of place. This is a huge government program, which there's nothing like in the United States. And yet it feels kind of special because there's a bond there that goes through all of that, you know, all of that, and we all come together out of it, kind of a something that, that seems to draw us in whatever it is, and, and it's the personalities and the people that we, that we interact with there. It's them that, that really make it. These sports-oriented Canadians are part of an organization called Community Living Toronto, and Joanne O'Connor, who headed up these excursions across the border, was very surprised at the instant connection made between her people and the wards. People always want to do the right thing, and you know, it's easy to dream of doing the right thing, but actually stepping forth and putting the work into doing the right thing is, is a little harder. Well, I thought it was really neat because he really took time to talk to um, the people that we brought on the trip, which was nice to see because his whole family was there. That was the first thing that struck me about him, was that his whole family does things together, and every time we've come, his whole family has been involved, so it, it it makes it more like a family thing. After two years of hooking up and going to Tiger and Red Wing games, it was a natural progression for them to go to a Pistons game. And that's exactly what they did, as ironically the Toronto Raptors were in town. The only difference to this weekend was the people they met and the immense support they received from area businesses and the Chamber of Commerce. So it's a, it's a great thing to help welcome our neighbors from Canada here and enjoy the hospitality of our area. And the relationship continues to grow beyond the sports realm but into more of a family reunion. Yeah, they feel more like family to me. And I, I think for them, we feel more like family because some of them don't have family members that come and see them because they don't really include them as part of their family. So I think they kind of think of us as more of a family too. They're very nice people. Very nice people, very special people. Yeah, that part of my family too, yeah. I should come back again. Thank you again. All of this came from an innocent trip to Comerica Park to see the lowly tigers. But the relationship that has blossomed will never be severed. For Shelby This Week, I'm Paul Schmidt.